funny Tarnish music, I'm going to show you how to make a character using Paint 3D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 2D shape, which is a circular shape, to do the head, like so. And I'm going to just change the colour, fill colour to this colour. Right, that's already been defined. And I'm going to change the thickness of the outline to only one pixel. That's not too bad on there. Right, so that'll be alright for a head. Need to put um, ears on, so I'm going to do use that what tool, which is like a, a line tool. It's not very easy to use, so I just do pull that out a bit there and make sure that's on the line. Make sure that's on the line by bringing it in. Like that. Make sure that's on the line that side. I'll make sure they're on the line. If they're not on the line, they'll be they'll be what's it? That needs to go in a bit more. Uh -uh. Ears come down a little touch. I need to bring the lot up, up slightly like that. Right, that's fine. I'll do that. Um, then what I need to do is stamp that. Oh, I've done something wrong. Delete delete go back on it sorry do it again I need to get a line there and across there about there and move the middle one out a little touch like that now we want to change the thickness to two at least two maybe three two on the line because we're going to fill it and we need to have it reasonably good fill in so now what I need to do is turn that over which is flip and then get that one in that side more or less the same place like that so it's got some floppy ears and we just do a brush and do that and then click on them and it will thin them out a bit so they'll be the same as the one then that's the whole point right so now we've got the ears on a bit like Yoda but there you go um, then next one we're going to do is the eyes put the eyes on we do one eye there and we need to change it to white right and the fill is going to be one I mean the thickness is going to be one and stamp that and then take the other one over the other side and then that's okay. Right now we need to do another little one of them and then go in there like that. Put, put that big. Now what we can do with this you can fill the middle bit with the black and the thickness of this, this can be blue for the iris and make the iris quite nice colour. Like that could make it a little bit bigger wait a minute pull that up a bit like that now we can thicken it just a little bit more yeah that's better we'll do that and then put the other one over the other side like that which is nice it looks nice now yeah and then we're going to do the nose little nose on like this it's the wrong colour at the moment but don't worry about that yet still gotta still gotta do change that so that ain't a problem just need the fill colour to be that colour and the th line colour to be black and put it onto one right that's pretty good now we need a mouth which we can use this one to make the mouth because it's the right kind of shape just need to change the inside to red and the line is about right but I need to be smaller so I'm going to cut it down to about like that and put it up there and there you go that smiley face right so that's pretty good so far I'll tell you what I forgot I forgot to do his neck so what we're going to do we have to do a line neck do a line neck like that. Right, so we've got a line here. Just take this 
it up here move that across move that down a little touch now we move it about there put this there he's next there then that might be okay let's have a look at that I think that's going to be alright let's just bring that down a bit no it's too low about there bring that in a little touch upper touch across there like that, a little bit more and that that's fine so we've got a little neck we just need to change the colour of that so we just uh, change the colour to that colour uh, I forgot to change the what's it so I need to undo that and do it again let's do uh, the line width the line width wasn't right so I need to go back into that and change the line width on that one so I've got to do it again sorry I forgot about it keep forgetting things oh, I don't know that's the trouble put that there put that across that way a little bit put that across that way a little bit a bit higher need it to be two say so that's the thing if you don't if you don't have it two when you fill it it disappears the line disappears so you need it to be at least two that's the thing with the thickness on it so I found that out so if you have it two instead of one you'll see okay so that we'll accept that uh, that's a bit low couldn't do it again sorry <sighs> it needs to be on the line if it isn't on the line when you fill it you'll fill the whole screen with it that's a trouble so I need to take that down all the way down here get that one down here put that line there this line there make sure they're on the line like that bring that in and bring that in that's how we can take that up a little bit more like that now that should be okay hopefully yeah that's okay now when we do the fill hopefully it should just fill that area so let's go on to fill yeah, and that's already on so I'll just do that there you go that's better right so he's got his neck right now we need to do his arms and his legs before we do um, the body so what we'll do is we'll just add the arms first um, what colour arm shall we have it's going to what, what they're wearing basically so you could have um, like red so we can get a shape um, let's try that shape do red down here like this let's try that length Swing it around a little bit, bring it across that way, um, stamp it, do another one over this side, turn it round a bit more, stamp it, then turn it round a little bit like that, take it down, stamp that, maybe take it up a little bit like that, stamp that, then go over this side and do the same with the side. That should be okay for that for the arms I just need to put the hands on as well I should have put the hands on before them to be honest but no mind I can do the hands with that if I have to so um, then we, if you want a body putting on you can put the body on now or you can leave it till after but you know if you want the body on you have to do something like that to get it on I suggest you put it up a little bit like that right that's looking pretty reasonable right so we do that that's ok then um, for legs you can just do the single legs if you want to or you can do a piece of a body first but put like a piece here change the colour to a different colour in a minute change that to blue and that colour blue and then you can have I'll 
just thinking whether I should do other legs coming up underneath there. So what I'll do is take that off, sorry. Do the legs first, coming out from here. Right, so we do one there. So we can get round that way. It's coming about a bit more than that. A bit wider as well. Then we do a stamp there. Then we flip it over. Take it over this side. Stamp there. You have to think about what you're doing with it. So that's the thing with this uh, app. I'm afraid it's not as uh, flexible as some of the apps I'm used to. So then we do knock that down a little touch. And there you go, put that there, and that'll do for that one. And then we just flip it over slightly for the other side. Oops, oh, damn it. Every time I do that, that happens. I'll have to do that again from there. So, I'll do that again. Want that? Oh, play me up. Sorry. Just do this again. Like that. Right, I'll just do put it up a little bit. Oh god I've done it again. Double clicked it by accident, sorry. Try again. It gets a bit annoying if you do things like this. Especially when I've I haven't done this before. <laughs> First time I've done it on here. So it ain't really that I'm used I'm not used to it to be honest. I've just gotta get used to it. So there's the legs and the feet I can draw on after. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the uh, midsection here for the uh, body. I just need to change to from the brush to do D like that. I can do, I don't want to do a circle or what, or a triangle, I could put a triangle in there but no, I just did the, the, the rounded square like that, cover that area. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Do like that. Then, right, we're going to sort all these out in a minute anyway. Because I've got to fill all the pieces in where the, the bits are covering. Like these lines here and these lines here and stuff, you know. And I've still got to do the hands and feet anyway, so that's okay with that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is... I think I'll do that one for this hand here. Like that. Then I'll pick that round. Put that up that side like that. And then bring that across. And across that way like that. That's a hand. I'll do. Copy that. So do that one. Take it across that side and do the same on that side. But flip it slightly. And do. Something like that, yeah. That'd be alright, wouldn't it? Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill them with the light colour that the skin is. So just do that. Right, so fill. And fill that one, yeah. Now we're going to do the leg, the feet. Put the, sh the boots on or whatever he's got. We'll put them in black, probably. So we can do that with a let's use that one we'll just do yeah we can do it this way I think just do it that way right now we just go from here down there like that down there like that bring it round bring this round like that bring that up oops bring that up like that and then bring that in a bit that down a bit like that. That looks a bit, mm, a bit rubbish here down there. I don't know. Let's try. There you go. Look, that ain't too bad. Right, so. It looks more like a foot than a boot, but it'll be alright. That'll do. Choose a colour. Right, so that's done. So just stamp that. Then take it across that side. And just do the swing it round the other way, and then bring that on. That's weird. It's gone like that. Was it gone like that? That's all right. Oh, that one ain't all right, is it? I've got to do that one again. Duh. 
undo undo let's try it again sorry didn't notice it wasn't on right that's the trouble with this you've got to make sure it's on the line right if it's not on the line right it won't work right put that on that line and bring this across and then bring this round bring that across like that huh? there try and bring it in a bit Uh, oh, that's better, any. Let's try that. Good. Now, take the one. Oh. Undo. Damn it. It happened again. Oh dear, I'm getting fed up of it. You do. When things don't go right for you, you have to try and keep on doing it. Right. There we go. Put that one that way. I didn't want to move it, I wanted to just move that one. Put that there. Bring that in. Bring that up a bit. Bring that one in a bit. Bring that one that way. That looks alright. Now click on that. Now take that one over there. Swing it over. I'm still doing that. Why is that doing that one? I'll do put that there like that. Right, so that's pretty good. I'll just change that to black so it looks like he's got black socks on or something. So that's what I'll do. So black there. Do that. Click on them. And there's your character really. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add him some hair and stuff as well. So go black. You can use this maybe and do, and do hair like that. Looks a bit freaky, but there you go. Let's try taking that off. I don't like that. But that's you could do that if you wanted like curly hair, and or you could have the watercolor going down. Let's change the thickness to a lower. Let's, I want to just do that. Yeah, that'd be better, wouldn't it? Just go across there like that. Just like that. There we go. You've got a bit of you know, mossy hair going across there. Yeah? Go. Got bits coming off there. Oh, that's better. Right. I don't like his ears. He's a bit too sticky out here, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> but never mind. Right now, what we need to do is to get rid of these lines. So what we do is we bring it up to where the lines are, and we can change them. Right. So you can do use this tool and go on to say something like two your two pixels that's usually enough to do so we go on the we're on the red so we do the red and in fact you can do more than that a bigger thickness get rid of it easier like that. right so that's that one this side as well like that. get rid of that part at the end there that part there. Alright, so that's that bit. You can do that, get rid of that as well if you want to. So if you want to go up there and just get rid of that bit. Just have it a bit like that. Right? That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. So now now we want to do the the blue, so we get the blue. You can if it's a specified colour that's not on there you just choose that pick it pick a tool into that and it'll come up with that colour for you. Right so we go down to there and go and do that. Right I mean, let's, let's, let's get in a bit so we can see what we're doing. 
if we do that like that get rid of the bits that we don't need you could leave a little bit on if you want just to show that it's the knee the back and this bit get rid of that bit there right and we go up to the other parts you have to use these handles here it's a bit hard to get them sometimes so we go over and we go on this bit here do that all the way as far as you want to do and the uh, same here while you're doing this you can add uh, any uh, extra accessories that you want to on the, on the picture by drawing a bit of a line here and there where you want if you want to embellish it somewhat like the hands where you want to put like change it to 2 mil I mean two pixels, and then just like put a put a couple of lines in for his hand. Now, so it looks as if he's got, his fingers are actually there, like that. You can do the same on the other side. Just do a couple of lines, and it helps to give the feel of what it is, you know. So that's that. That looks all right. Let's go. I mean, yeah, up here. Right now, with this, I don't like the way that is. So what I need to do is I'm going to change that by um, bringing that up a bit more, like this. Using using that, I'm going to add the thickness to that. Sorry, just do it a bit there, like that. And then I can put the colour, put the line on. I'll update in a minute. Two millimeter line. I mean, two pixel line. Sorry keep saying that, why do I keep saying that? Right, so we go to back to two pixels which is the line length I mean width right, let me do that right, and then just go across there then we obviously need to do that bit there and just go across here like this and then just do down there that looks a bit better all I need to do is get that blue in there so I'll just do about 4 for that you know, 4 pixels that should cover that bit there hopefully a couple of taps on there that's roughly about right now that looks not too bad for a, a character oh, what do you think it's alright, yeah? It's alright, that's fair enough. Uh, just go two pixels, wait a minute. Get some black colour in, and then I'll just do uh, maybe put a, a pocket down here or something. And then another pocket down here. And then his zipper. Right, and then uh, maybe some. Lines like that, right? And then you can do take that right up there if you want to, and that one across that way. It's all up to how much you want to embellish it or not. You know, you can put some lines down the bottom if you want to. Like you know, you can, if if you want to be as accurate as possible, you can down like this and you know make sure you get it right if you want to. You know, and. Uh, just take off the bit I've done wrong like that. and so forth you know and, and this bit here is a bit wrong so I could not I could have done that better but there you go you know you can do it like that and then you can go down maybe put a line down here or something the bottom of his trousers or something and do the same on that side make it look like it's like a bit fancy I suppose or something and then on his shirt you could put a logo on or something you know or put a uh, put a buttons on it or something like that or like that well you could do something, anything like that really in fact I'm going to go back in there take that back off because I don't like that bit Right, so I'll just take that off with this. So we'll just take a 
thickness down to there. Just do that, get rid of that minute. What I should have done is just, just colour coloured it over. Really would have been better. Just like this. Right now what I could do is use two D shapes to do buttons. Uh -uh. I need to pop down, pop down, you know, and try and get them as near as you can, I suppose, to what you want. And another one a bit further down, yeah, maybe another two or one, one there, and the last one here. That's that's like a, he's buttoned up there, and that needs to come off there. So I will need to change that. Right, so we're going to get that colour. Go back to two pixels, yeah. Just get on the end there. Maybe do a bit lower if we can. Like that. Now let's go back out and have a look. See how that looks so far. Don't look too bad. I could do something with the arms to make it look more like shell, proper shoulders. Um, you know, the same sort of thing again by um, adding the colour on there. And if we go over to the shoulders, get in as much as you can, you know. Then you can do bring that shoulder across that way. Make sure you've got the line first so you know what you're doing. Then you can put the, blue, the, 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 uh, the black line in. To cover that area, right? So we just go black on the back line and then go across there like that, follow the line round, and then just get the red line just to make sure we can go over this bit here and just make sure it's all clear like that. Right, that's that was that wasn't too hard, was it? Now we just do the same on this side if we can. Um, Let's just follow the line over. Like that. Right now we just change that to black and on two. Right. And just try and follow the line over. Like that. That's not too bad at all. Right. Now we go back out to the proper size. And there you've got your character. I hope you like it. I'm going to put that on in a minute onto the group and you can see it there. Right, I'm just going to try and save it now. Hopefully, it'll save without the background. If it, if it doesn't, I'll, I can take the background off with the um, with the photo program. I'll take the background off then. Save as image. Um, type PNG, so I'll do that. I'll just change it to Untitled 2 because I'm not sure whether I've already saved the other one. So I'll do that. Right, let's have a look at it, see if we can find it. Untitled 2 PNG, it's got a background on it. I think, yeah, it has. And then let's go back into go back into that. I think there's a way you can do it where you can get it without the background on. Right, it's menu save as image. No it's not doing it for me this time. There is a way of doing it, I forgot how it is. Ah oh, dear never mind. We just have it that way. Don't save that right. So that's your character. Let's try and see if we see if we can get it on. Then get if it if it does show the background. I'm going to try and put it on Doodly now. Um, I've got this app, this program on already with another character already on there. So what I want to do is browse the file for the Untitled Two. So we go Untitled Two. There you are. And it should, yeah, it's showing the background. So. You can see the background on it there, look. So what will happen is it will come up like that. So what we need to do then 
is just discard that for the moment. I'll just go on my photo program and just delete the the background. So any old photo program should do this. So open with Affinity Photo, and I'll just uh, just discard the background by clicking on. I think in a second. Um, that's not the one. It's that one. Flood fill, uh, flood remove background. There we go. Now all I need to do is just save that. Oh, I'm going to remove that. Make sure that's gone as well. Okay. Right. I'm just making sure it's all gone. Now what I do is just save it again. Export it as PNG selection without background. Export. And then save it as what it was. And just r remove the other one then. And we go off that. Now try on um, Doodly, and you'll see it'll come up better then, hopefully. So here we go. Just browse for Untitled 2. Untitled 2, there you are. And it, it should go on easy now. There we go. Our character is on. That's how you make a character using Paint 3D. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you very much for your interest.